Okay, so this video is being made early. I normally, I normally make a video Sunday, but I'm going to be flying out of town Friday, and I won't be back until Tuesday, the Tuesday after Tuesday. So I'm going to miss two Sundays. This will be for Sunday coming up, and then also I'll just have to do the next Sundays, you know, when I get back Monday or Tuesday. But anyway, so this is Reskate. My name's Steve Robertson. I have a YouTube channel uh, that basically, I basically post videos trying to uh, bring up the awareness of fundamental perception realities and what those are for from person to person and what it means to have core beliefs that that cause you to perceive reality differently and then what effects those those beliefs have on you i try not to say faith or belief because most people get too willy-nilly with it so i'll just say fundamental perception reality is what i keep saying over and over at the beginning of all my youtube channels the reason that i choose to bring up fundamental perception reality and why there's this channel to begin with is because literally the limit to the potential of a human being is based solely on what they choose to perceive so if you want you won't hear this on tv you won't hear it in the educational system you won't hear it from your friends usually maybe you have some good friends but if if you want to increase your degrees of freedom or your potential as a human being you have to find out what you hold to be true on the most fundamental level and then either alter that eliminate that add something different the key here being that what you do to that needs to be aligned with truth and by truth i don't mean like your truth my truth i mean i mean very clearly what is actually there like reality what is really real right you know in the physical or you know spiritual universe if you want to if you believe in spiritual stuff that you don't have to believe in spirituality necessarily to, to get through most of these videos but basically what do you hold to be true how is that limiting you how do you set yourself free from those from those beliefs or perceptions and the answer is you can't unless you know what they are and so that's what that's where this channel comes into play literally rescaping your your ideas and perceptions on the most fundamental level and doing that safely so you don't go insane and then also doing it in alignment with truth and the more that you can line that up with truth or what's actually there, then you become more and more powerful and more and more free. Hopefully more and more of a good person. That's what I've come to find from people, from myself and the people I've come to, you know, find this doing this is you become generally more, you know, um, I don't know, lighthearted person. If you ever see Aang on Avatar, The Last Airbender, how he's just, he, he's just kind of happy and like rolls around in his air ball all the time. Like that's sort of like the personality that you start getting when you, when you go down this path. So today is going to be a video on the possible. Now the reason I'm calling it the possible is because this this is going to go back into the root that I was talking about with whole people. If you check out for most of my earlier half half of my my earlier half of the videos, it's going to be talking about wholeness. Wholeness being where you are of whole intent, of whole mind. There's no wavering desires in any other direction. You're you're partaking in an action or event with the entirety of yourself undivided. And that's that sounds. I mean that's pretty simple. But then I've got like like 10 videos on different aspects of that and what that really means and how that plays out now with the possible the more whole you become the more you fill into the possibility of what you can be so and then ultimately well what's the limit well what's the limit of truth like it's not that you add to yourself or you gain superpowers it's literally that you become more and more aware that you could do things that you've always been able to do but you haven't allowed yourself that the option of that possibility in your mind to attempt to pursue so the first way the first thing you to do to have to do this look if you're watching this video th this video could be the first thing but basically you have to be introduced to new information if you don't have new information you can't you can't compare to your normal perception reality someone literally has to come knocking on your door like a jehovah's witness and be like here's something you didn't know before and and usually when you start introducing people to radical new information they'll reject it simply because uh, either it's just too much to, to at once or subconsciously they realize that if they take in that information they'll have to change their lives in ways they don't want to change to remain a whole or sane person and so they'll reject it that way and just ignore like pretend it never happened um, but but the more whole you become the more you can receive that information and then and make the adjustments to be like okay well if this exists then what else is there that I'm not you know not aware of and then you start 
searching for new things and then you and then you know that's what people like people that are searching you know certain people you can tell are searching for truth they just want to know things I'm definitely one of those people hopefully if you're watching this video or watching my videos you're one of those people too um, that's that's the kind of person that, that these videos or this that rescape is is being you know created for so so you've got new information you verified it factual it's a new piece of reality you weren't aware of before it contradicts previous fundamental perception reality that you're now having to reevaluate and trying to piece together a new mode so you you know so you have a sane picture and know how to interact with reality in a new way and, and I keep bringing up sanity because literally if you introduce people to these things too quickly then then they don't they don't have time to grow into that new information or that new mindset and so they're they're still in that old mindset but the old mindset's not there anymore so they don't have anything to like fall back on so it can be dangerous. That's why I always emphasize to change it, you know, at your leisure, you know. And then, and then also, the, one of the reasons people don't accept radical new information, like the minds will just forget it ever happens. It's really strange if you haven't experienced it before, but people literally just like huge things that happen, and they just won't like. You'll have a, a crowd of people see something ridiculously unusual, and then just like the next day, it's like, oh, what? You know, you literally ask them about it, and they'll kind of th like, oh yeah, I forgot about that, and then a week later, they won't even know it happened. So, but they're doing that to protect themselves. So, for the reasons I just mentioned. So, it's not that people are necessarily lazy or ignorant. It's literally that there's only so much the mind can take, and they're doing the best with what they have to offer. So, so if you're building up your your you know your meshness with reality or what's true, or what's there, the the first piece of information. Or if you want to see like the end game, like what's the what's the end goal? Like, let's say I, I know truth entirely. What then would I be capable of as a human being? Or like, what would I be like? And and it's very clear, very clear. And it's actually so easily accessible that it's it almost makes it inaccessible because it's just right in front of your face. But but there has been a person who's seen reality from the beginning completely true right in front of his face and and he and he lived a life based off that and his name was Jesus and he lived born like 3 BC I think what they're saying and then died about 27 AD um, what makes him unique is that his Y chromosome wasn't introduced by the Y chromosomes of the human race now you'll hear that he was born of a virgin and that kind of puts it off in la la land but literally what's happening here is if you have humanity as a whole like a whole species race of humanity and then you have to, that started out like the first people were like you know utopian people but then something happened and then genetically something something was altered genetically such that then after that we all started aging or whatever you know killing each other or whatever and then you're like okay well we have to go back to the beginning so what do you do to go back to the beginning? You have you have to start over, and so so very so very clearly his DNA chromosomes, his his most fundamental physical form was was humanity as it was meant to be. So not only did he perceive truth, but he actually existed as a human being in his normal state. And a lot of people will be like, oh, Jesus was perfect or Jesus was sinless, and again that puts it all off in la la land, and you won't get anything from that. What you have to what you have to understand is that Jesus was not special. The only difference between Jesus and every other person in reality is Jesus was what people are supposed to be. So when you are a truth seeker and trying to align yourself with reality and what's actually there, if you start thinking of yourself as getting better and better, either that's going to lead to arrogance or you're going to become unstable and start losing your sanity. But if you think of a way as removing, like removing ignorance, removing unbelief or doubt and then what do you have left over if you remove everything that's not there what do you have left over you have you have yourself that's who you are so what's left is you and Jesus had that from the beginning now it doesn't mean he was super sage Jesus it's very clearly written that Jesus grew in wisdom so as a child he was learning he asked he asked really amazing questions that impressed people but he was still asking questions he still learned like the Torah just like every other little Jewish boy at the time or whatever so he was a person. He was real. Like he was really a person. Like everyone's like, "Oh man, he can, you know, if you can stop the stop a storm and walk on water, like holy shit. Like I don't even want to know how he did that." But what you have to understand is if you if he was in a like he goes to a wedding 
he's just in the crowd like everybody else. No one cares. Like no, he's not he's not anything special. Like he was a carpenter. He he literally like, carpenters are like the lowest form of labor workers. Like they weren't even like even farmers had land to till. Like he didn't even have that. And uh, and so you know just meeting him in a bar, you just have a conversation with him. He's not going to say anything profound. He's just a normal guy. So once you find it with people as they become more and more aligned with with the truth, reality, it doesn't change who they are. They still go to work. They still you know ride roller coasters and and you really you don't know a difference like the only way you can know a difference is if you start asking them questions and they don't usually want to reveal it to you because they don't want to freak people out you know again with introducing too much information da, 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 da. so one of the things these videos do as i learn more information or more more things that aren't necessarily widely circulated i will i will post them here and then and then hopefully, you know, if you guys want to look further, you know, see, does the thing is I don't have to put a lot. If I just put a little bit and then you kind of, and you think there's maybe a possibility of truth in what I'm saying, then just go look for it. Just go search it. The fact that you can search it now because you watch my video, that is everything. The only, the only difference is that now, you know, there's a possibility. That's it. Like when Jesus talks about the, the, the faith, the size of a mustard seed, must, there's no seed smaller than a mustard seed. What he's saying is if you have any amount of faith, you can do anything. He's, is literally... You hear like, you know, moving a mountain with faith or whatever. A lot of people have heard that. But afterwards it says, he says, nothing will be impossible for you. Nothing will be impossible for you. He's not, he's, he's not hyperbolizing. Like he literally, he's proving, he proved in his life, he did things that would indicate that, that him as a normal human being doing those things, that is not something, that's not superpower he learned over time. That's just something he was able to do because he knew he could do it. The, the limit to what he said that people could do. The reason you can move a mountain or, or speak, the what he did, he spoke to a, a fig tree and he, and he made it wilt. In one book, he, he wilted right away. The other one, it wilted overnight. And they were amazed. And he was like, no, I just told it to wilt. You can tell a mountain to go to the ocean. Like, there's nothing. But the but the, the limiting reagent there is that you have to have the expectation that it'll take place. And that's the limit of possibility. So when I, when I call this video the possible, if you want to know what is the limit or what causes the possible, it is what you can expect to occur. So, and obviously if you can expect to occur things that aren't aligned with reality, well now you're insane. So when you align yourself with truth, the more truth you learn, the more things, like for example, um, their spiritual gifts. Let's say you, um, you see someone lay hands on someone, they get healed. Before you saw that, if you tried to lay hands on someone, they may not get healed because you'd be like, oh, I'm not sure, uh, or you won't even try it at all because you don't want to humiliate yourself. And then you see someone else do it, and you're like, oh, okay. And then maybe you try then, and then there's that little bit mustard seed of expectation because you're trying. And then it's that expectation because you're there doing it. See, the thing is, most people don't understand this, but even if you don't know Jesus, even if you knew nothing, if somehow you found yourself in a circumstance where someone was injured and you put your hands on them and prayed and used Jesus' name, that person would heal. Not because you believed or had expectation, but because you were following the rules, which is you used his name, there was some sort of contact, and then you spoke. You don't have to speak, but it's the spoken word using Jesus' name with your hands on them. It will work. The expectation part is that you go there and do it. If you don't have the expectation, you won't try. If you have the expectation, you might try, and then that's the mustard seed of faith. So again, these things aren't, because a lot of times people will be like, oh, well, I just don't believe enough. So it's not based off that kind of belief. It's literally based off, do you, is it within your realm of possibility to consider that when you try this thing, that it could occur? Because it will occur if you try. I mean, there's certain ways, I mean, there's certain things that maybe would cause it not to occur, but it, it's it's much more on like a scientific, like laws and rules about how it applies. Like, like it's a skill set, like there's techniques, like, like if you don't stay connected to God when you do it, it it might not work as well. The more the big the more connection you have to God, the the more effect it'll have. You know if there's you know demons present, that might interfere with it. So there's I mean there's different things like that, but it's not like oh I'm gonna will it to happen. It's the expectation is the fundamental perception reality. That's what has to change, and then you can do things like Jesus did. Jesus himself said that that we were going to do things greater than what he did. So everything you read about Jesus, a human being with the Holy Spirit should be able to do greater things than that. And then the question is, at this point, it's like, well, why don't we see anyone do it? It's because no one has the expectation that they can do that. It's the default mode for most churches when you start talking about Jesus is that, oh, Jesus is God, which I'm not disputing that. But he's like, oh, Jesus is God, so he can do all these amazing things. You know, me, I'm, I'm a lowly, sinful human, so obviously I don't have the power Jesus had. When it was clearly written, that's not, Jesus was trying to emphasize to us the, the power that we hold as just being human. Just being human, we have this power. 
the 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 limiting reagent the mustard's face is just trying. It's all it is. And if you and and if you don't have the expectation, you you won't try. And if you try, you have to have that expectation. You have to have that fundamental perception reality shift. So if you're if you're watching this video and you know what I'm talking about, then and you believe me, if you have the, the even the inkling that what I'm saying could be a possibility, go out there and just try it. Like just go to go if you have the guts, go to like Walmart and just try to pray for someone like that's you know maybe has a cold or something or something like specifically that's like affecting them right now, such that when it goes away, you'll know right now. Like a cold might not go away until they get home or something like that. But like. I do think it's like, well, what's the pain level one to ten? You ask them beforehand because after you heal them, they're not gonna they're gonna be like, oh well, it went away on its own, and be like, what level did you say it was on? A nine? Because I think you just said it was a nine a second ago, and it's a, it's a zero now. Okay, yeah, it went away on its own. That's right. But if you would heal them and, and not ask them that, then they would be then they would be think it would go away on its own. But you hold them to their word. So that's one tech way to do it. Probably not probably not the nicest way, but the things are very real when you do them long enough. It is, it is no longer a supernatural event. It is literally a supernatural event and then becomes that nobody's doing it. And then, and that's where you could lose your sanity. That's why you have to be built up into this thing because if you don't, you'll be drawn back into it, still knowing these possibilities. And then you're like, well, is the world, is everything I know correct? And then all these other things I learned, that must mean I'm crazy? Or, or do you have the structure of mind and the experience built up that you can say, no, this is real? So, and again, just just look it up, try it, and if you know, if you think these could be possibilities, just go on YouTube or Google and just find people. Like I actually, I saw a guy who could control the wind very clearly. He controlled the direction of wind, and the, even to an extent, the intensity. And, and it was very clear he was doing it. And so there's a very small version of moving weather. I I actually know I have a friend who can change the cloud direction or like make clouds split and things like that. So there's another way, different technique, but different way. So it's not stopping a storm instantaneously. But, but obviously Jesus is going to have greater effect on these sort of things because he sees it absolutely true. Like the, the way that people watching this video may be like, well, Steve doesn't seem crazy, but I don't know. And I'm like, no, this is, this is very clearly real. And then, well, that's probably like what I would seem to Jesus. I'd be like, it's like, wow, did, did that just happen? And then Jesus would be like shaking his head and being like, you know, oh, ye of little faith or whatever like that. But this is something to work into, and if you can do greater things than Jesus, there's no limit. Like, like what can you expect to be real? Eventually, my theory is you get to a point where you are literally one with God, and then there's things that you could do, you could expect to do, but you don't do them because you don't want to, and then because they may not be healthy. And so then your limit is just what you want to do, and you can do anything. And then you're like, well, can you turn the sky black or something like that? Or, you know, or just, you know, flat of the moon with no Iron Man suit or whatever? And the answer is yes, you can, but you don't want to because you're busy doing other things. Simple as that. It's like, why did Jesus do specific things and not other things? If, if he's the son of God and he's one with God, and he said it's because he only does what he sees the father doing. Like he has a very clear goal and he doesn't get sidetracked from that. So just things like that. But anyway, so what is the possible? The possible is Jesus Christ. Like if you want to know what a human being can do, it's like just read the Bible, just see the things he did. Everything he did, we can do. The difference being uh, he knew it to be true factually, so he had that expectation. And then for some reason, nobody in humanity, like current, at least the current day, can. Or there are some, but you have to like, you know, search pretty hard to find them. And then maybe there's some that, maybe there's a lot more than you'd expect. They're not going to say anything. Don't people think they're crazy. So they wouldn't be posting videos like this. But if you're watching this video, it's real. And I don't care. I'm at the point, there's one point in time where I was like, if people thought I was crazy, that'd make me question myself. And then I'd start going crazy. But it's like, at this point, it's like, no. It's like, I, I can fundamentally say that these things are real. If you don't believe me and you think that you're like, well, you know, could you show me? And you're like, you have good intent in that. Like, I will show you whatever you want. Like, I can introduce you to people where things like this are not a big deal. And... But again, if you're like, if you just want to come, you know, make me demonstrate something because you want to prove me wrong, obviously I'm not going to do that. So, it's, so it becomes a thing. It's like, do you have the mustard of faith? you have the expectation? Whatever. Anyway, so this is 20 minutes. So I guess this could count as two videos. Um, I don't know. I guess some people, some of my friends would say I'm putting myself too much out there. But this is, imp this is important. If I'm going to be running a channel seeking to increase the limit of human potential, I've got to make a video on what that potential is. So this is that video. If you have any questions, post in the comments. 
Uh, my name's Steven, week 24. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to be gone two weeks, so this is a longer video. But uh, yeah, if you guys if you guys have any questions at all, like this is probably the most paramount video, fundamental, pivotal video I've done so far. This is the one to ask questions on. So if anybody's watching this, go for it. And I would love to hear from you. So anyways, and I will be back in two weeks. Love you guys. Bye.